Last time on Common Sense Soapbox, Bob to the future. Charlie, I've been meaning to show you something. My newest invention. <gasps> and now for today's episode of Common Sense Soapbox, Bob to the future. I can't believe you actually did it. You've invented a time machine. You've defied all known laws of nature. Who has time for the laws of nature when you have money? Bob, I'm really going to miss you. I'm glad we got to know each other. I'm glad I got to meet you as well, Charlie. You've got a bright future ahead of you. And you've got a bright past ahead of you. Go live your life, Bob. I'll try to make sure not to do anything that would inadvertently prevent your birth. Uh... Thanks. Come on, Penguin. It's time for us to go. You don't want to come with? Bob, the last year has been a marvelous adventure. But I cannot join you in returning to the past. The very thought of Bobco collapsing is too much for me to bear. I must remain to carry on your legacy here in this incredible future where even a humble penguin can rise to the level of his ability and ambition through service to others. But I will never forget you, Bob. Never. Cool, bye. Got wrong here. Hey, nice hat. Way wrong here. And that's basically why... Oh! Bob? You're alive! I was terrified I would never see you again. There are so many things I still needed to correct you about. I missed you too, buddy. You guys must have looked everywhere for me. We printed thousands of flyers. A few flyers. Okay, we printed a flyer. Cool. So, uh, what have you crazy kids been doing without me? Well, I was just giving Sarah a rundown on why socialism doesn't work. Basically, it's because socialism and other philosophies requiring central planning tend to drive economies further into chaos because no individual person or committee of experts possesses the distributed knowledge needed to run an economy. <gasps> and while no system is perfect, this knowledge problem, as it's called, makes it clear that allowing for the spontaneous order of the market, while sometimes problematic, is a far superior alternative to the deeply flawed and arrogant notion that a small handful of bureaucrats are fit to coordinate the economic activity of millions of strangers, all acting with their own unique purposes. Couldn't have said it better myself. Indeed. What? Where did you? Well, Seamus, I learned it by becoming an incredibly successful entrepreneur. In the future. But I, I put countless hours into trying to educate you on this stuff. I did so much work. But Seamus, the amount of labor you put into something doesn't mean I will find it valuable. Oh yes, the subjective theory of value. He sure told you. But, but, I can't foresee with certainty the shifting desires of even a close friend and therefore would be unable to plan the economic activity of others regardless of what qualifications you may have. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I guess. I'm going ice fishing. <laughs>